Hey guys, David Stewart here. You'll notice my beloved Bruce Wood guitar has grown a bit of a tumor. That is actually a piezoelectric pickup that adheres to the soundboard. It is called the MSP, which stands for Magnetic Sandwich Pickup. It's from 123sound.jp. 123sound is a Japanese company, and they did give me this pickup for free, so full disclosure, I didn't pay for this. I just got it for free, and I wanted to give you guys an inside scoop on it. Um, I do recommend it as an amplified guitar solution for people who don't want to drill holes in their guitar. Um, so, like I said, this is a piezoelectric pickup. Most piezoelectric pickups that you get for acoustic guitar, they place them underneath the saddle, and then you have an output jack on the back where they drill a hole, and then sometimes you have an EQ here where they like cut out a hole and put in an, an equalizer and a preamp. I don't want to drill holes in my very nice guitars that I love very much. I'd rather drill a hole in my child's head than drill a hole in this guitar or any of my other ones. So this is a really good solution if you don't want to drill holes in your guitar. There are competitors that go onto the soundboard like this that have a soundboard transducer. Um, some of those adhere with adhesive rather than with um, magnets. This one uses magnets and the way that it works is it comes with like a little um, piece of flexible wire that you can bend any way you want and you put the magnet here's the mag one of the magnets it comes with several magnets you put it on the end and uh, you go underneath and you find the place that you want it here and then whoop, they stick together this one this uh, transducer has a really powerful magnet in it this one's also really powerful they stick together that's what makes it hold onto the soundboard exactly where you put it then when you're done, you stick this back in, stick it on the, the uh, magnet, slip that guy off, and it's completely detached. You can also use a piece of uh, double-sided tape to stick the magnet onto exactly where you want it in the guitar, and then it'll leave it there. Then all you have to do is attach the pickup and it's even quicker. I, however, don't want magnets like stuck to my soundboard on the inside, so I elected not to do that, but you could do that if you want to. Like I said, it also comes with multiple magnets. So you could do that on multiple guitars. You could set up, there's comes with four magnets. You could set up four guitars the way that you want. It also comes with a whole bunch of other stuff. So let me show you some of that. It comes with all sorts of little felt pads to keep this off the top of your guitar. It does have a rubber pad on the bottom. So I'm not really concerned about it hurting the finish on the top of my guitar too much. Um, but if you are concerned, there are some like felt pads. It also comes with some little circular Klingon type protectors that um, adhere with static, and then you can put the pickup on them. It's kind of like a little gold bait, but it just sticks with static rather than adhesive to really protect the finish if you want. Um, but you know, these are optional, and I actually think the little rubber padding on the bottom of this is, is enough for most guitars, and I trust it, so maybe you'll trust it on your French polished guitars. Um, what else does it come with? It comes with a great little bag to hold everything together with, um, you know, and it came with a origami crane. It was really very nice packaging and I do appreciate that. It came nice and secure and well padded. Um, what else should you know about it? I have this set up right now um, running through a guitar amp, a, a standard electric guitar amp. It's a Roland Cube 80X on the jazz core sound, which is just a clean sound. The EQ is pretty much 12 o'clock across the board. I'm not making any alterations. And the sound that comes out of this pickup is actually quite good. It's, it's actually very, very close to the way the guitar actually sounds. Um, when you're dealing with under saddle transducers, you usually end up sort of approximating the sound of an acoustic guitar and not getting the real sound of the guitar. With this, I feel like I'm getting very much the real sound of the guitar. I feel like I'm really getting the actual sound of the guitar, not um, not a lot of extra string noise, which happens with the under saddle pickups, and not with like some kind of bright pingy piezoelectric sound that I didn't have to EQ into what sounds like a guitar. This has no preamp on it. It's just going straight out of the pickup into a guitar cable into my amp. Okay, that's it. It has a really, really good sound. Um, the drawbacks of this, there's a couple drawbacks and you should know about them. And they're really not, I wouldn't call them draw, drawbacks so much as trade-offs. Whenever you're dealing with amplified acoustic guitar stuff, there's a lot of trade-offs. Um, the first trade-off is that because it's a piezoelectric pickup and it's on the soundboard and it's on an acoustic guitar, you are gonna have to deal with feedback. Um, 
My amp is faced away from me and that's the easiest way to deal with feedback in any amplified acoustic guitar setup, whether you're miking it or you're using a transducer of some kind or you're going with an undersaddle uh, piezo. You gotta have the, the amp not facing the top of the guitar to avoid the crazy feedback that happens with a lot of acoustic instruments. So have your amp in front of you, uh, not you know maybe facing kind of to your side and you're not gonna get as much feedback with that. But that is a thing. You have to position your amps to sort of avoid the feedback. Other people do other crazy things like cover up their sound hole. I just say position your amp in a way that you're not gonna get a lot of feedback and that's that's probably gonna be your best bet. So that is something you do have to do. Um, it has a high impedance output. What that means is it has a standard guitar output, um, which is actually really cool uh, that I can just go into an electric guitar pickup and it works. I think that's actually really cool. However, um, if you're wanting to plug your acoustic guitar into a mixer, you're probably gonna have to use a DI box but you can get a Natty DI box for like 10 bucks. That's not a big deal. So to me, that's not a huge like drawback as far as a trade-off. It's just, you know, you have to have one extra piece of equipment to use to use this with a mixer, which a lot of people like to do. Um, other drawbacks are that, you know, you have to position it every time you do it if you don't want to use the double-sided tape stuff. Um, so that's kind of a that's kind of a drawback. But, you know, the positive of that is that you're not marring your guitar. You're not doing permanent damage to your beloved instrument. You're, you're keeping it intact for its acoustic uses. Like if you want to play a concert that's totally acoustic, you have the proper instrument for it. And if you need to amplify out of a PA or something, then you have a setup that can work for that. So it's really a good mixture of those trade-offs to me. Another cool thing about this um, is that you can, you can place this transducer anywhere you want. I found this placement to work really good on this guitar. Picks up the gold bass nice and loud, which actually is something I should mention. If you're playing flamenco and you want that gold bass sound, this has that gold bass sound. It will amplify the gold bass very, very appropriately. And they sound really good over here. I tried it over here and the gold bass aren't quite as good. So right here, I really like the gold bass on my guitar. And um, unlike a lot of under saddle transducers that sort of mute the sounds of the guitar as you go around, because this is the soundboard, anything you do on top of the soundboard, you're gonna get a lot of that thumpy soundboard sound, which is great, so that, that's a, that's a very big positive if you're playing flamenco. Um, but what I recommend if you're gonna get it, find the place that you like, and you can easily do this. Just hold the pickup on the top of the guitar and you know, you can just strum some open, open strings until you find a tone you like and then hold it, go in with your little um, with your little wire and stick it exactly where you want it to be. So you, you find where you want it here and then go in here and put the magnet and there you go, it's right where you need it to be. Um, I don't think there's too much else to say about it. It's pretty straightforward. It's pretty easy to, to work. Uh, I don't know the retail price on it yet because it hasn't been maybe fully released yet. Um, I think it's still in sort of the you know capital stages of development. But I do recommend it overall, even though I got it for free. Don't, don't let that color my judgment. I actually think it's a very, very good device. What I especially like about it, it sounds like my guitar. It doesn't sound like a, a, a piezoelectric pickup that approximates my guitar. It really does sound like my guitar. So that's what I think about that. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you found that helpful. This is an amplified guitar solution that I think is a great mixture of trade-offs for the standard concert guitarist. So have a great day.